Hey guys, SP Architects here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create stone path in ArchiCAD. It may look strange and easy, but when it comes to creating this kind of shapes, the first method that you can create or follow is sketching it one by one and extrude. But as you can see in these examples, there are lots of stones. It's going to be very boring and it will take a lot of time from you. First of all, if you are not creative enough, you have to overline from a reference picture. Now we are in ArcKit and I'm going to be create a path. It's going to be a curved shape. So we are going to go to the spline tool. I'm going to offset this one. Okay, it's too big. Let's create another one. I'm going to make this something like this and duplicate onto that and offset just like one meter or 110 centimeters. I'm going to change the working units from the project preferences. Working units, let's create this millimeter, change to centimeter, click OK. Now we can close the shape with two additional basic lines and there we go we had that but now we are going to fulfill the inside we can just pick up the line tool and make something like this but as you can see it's very boring and it looks strange this won't work believe me now let's learn the true method let's get rid of those and why we don't use fields of architect in the documents as you can guess we have fill tool here and one of them is stone i don't remember the which one was it let's try this one okay we can use this pattern or yeah this is something crazy okay let's get back to this one how you can model this field to 3D? In the previous method, we were sketching it one by one, but this point work too. Let's try to explode. Let's go to edit, reshape, explode. Uncheck this keep original elements, but this is again a field. We need these true lines. In order to get these true lines, to use them, I'm gonna export this to AutoCAD. Yeah, we are going to use AutoCAD. Go to File menu and click Save As and for the file type, I'm gonna choose DWG and we can go with the for, for further editing. Some pads and save. All right, here we are in the AutoCAD and I'm going to delete these unnecessary objects. And we have this pattern. Let's move this or not move. Explode this one. Hit X and space. Yes, it works. Now their lines. We can use this pattern or instead of that we can use AutoCAD's home pattern. I'm going to duplicate to here and use hedge tool. For the pattern we have something different here. We have gravel. A problem with the scale, don't worry. Let's change the scale. 0 0.1, point or 100. Yeah, it's gonna work. Let's increase the, the scale. There we go. Maybe 500.
X. Okay, we can choose both. In the AutoCAD, as you can guess, we can explode this one too and use these lines. You can just close the gaps and continue. It's up to you. Once more here. The next step is going to be saving this file and open in ArchiCAD. Here we are in ArchiCAD and we are going to the file menu. External contents, place external drawing. Let's select our stone pad. The scale is going to be custom and we're gonna input here 10. Let's reduce the scale. Yeah, okay. The next step is going to be same. We go to edit, reshape and explode. Let's click OK. Now they are line in ArchiCAD. Now we can go to slab, go to structure, change its basic and change the thickness. Now we hit the space and there we go. We can fill the holes with the magic wand tool and create our pad easily. It's a long process, but if you want to compare doing it one by one for the previous method, it's way more faster and also enjoyable to do. I'm gonna stop this one here and I want to create this stone pad too. Let's go to 3D window and look at what we have. I think they look very nice. If you model out of the shape, you can get something like this. And in order to compare, I think ArcGIS pattern is way more elegant. By the way, if you want to add some grass into these gaps, you don't have to again model all of the gaps. The method is going to be something like this. We are going to select all of the splines. If I can select the spline and offset maybe 6 centimeters. We don't need inner spline. Okay. And we're gonna create another slab for that. But this time it's going to be grass. And we will change the height. Or you can make half intersection. So I'm going to put here 1.5 or just one. There we go. Now it's ready to render. As for the final step, we are going to set all of the slabs except this one and make some solid element operation. These are going to be operator and this is going to be target and be subtraction with them. Why we are doing that is when we are using grass in T motion or D5 render is going to be is going to create grass automatically, but you will see grass passing through inside the stone. Now we have solved that problem. Okay guys, I think this was enough for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed and something learned new. 
If so, please hit the like button and be subscribed. If you want to download this project file or also my other project files, you can always go to my Patreon page and download all of the stuffs. Thank you and have a nice day.